Hi guys, welcome back to another itch.io free to play walkthrough. Today we have Sunken Heads, which is supposed to be like a surreal point and click adventure. We'll see how far it lets me go. The fact it's surreal and a point and click <laughs> makes me highly skeptical if I'll get too far in it because I can only imagine the weird combinations of movements you're going to have to do. Um, as always, I'll leave a link to the game in the description if you want to check it out for yourself slash support the creator. And if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hopefully this goes better for me than uh, Infernal Radiation. I loved Infernal Radiation, but man, I was getting my butt kicked. Wow, this is weird for a point and click because it's like 3D. Can I turn up the sensitivity? Please, sensitivity, sensitivity. Please, let me do it. Oh, what a fucking G. The creator's a G, boy. Oh, what a smart lad, including sensitivity. How smart. Big brain. Who's talking in here? Notice, laundry room or rolls. For residence use only, we are not responsible for lost, stolen, or damaged articles. Do not overload machines. Please remove clothes promptly. Clean lint tray after each dryer cycle. Door's locked. Door's not locked. Look at us. We got into a new room. Sick. Game saved. Alleyway. This is weird for a point and click. And this trash bag is like freaking weird. It's like following me. Why? It's like paper. That door's locked. Why are we here? Maybe I can find an item that I'll need later on. Maybe not. Maybe there's nothing here. Maybe I just came here for no reason. Yep. Let me see. Oh, I can jump. Can I fly? Okay, no. Okay, I don't know why I went out there. But it was good to check, anyways. Apartment stairway. Door is locked. Door is locked also. Wow, the door is also locked. Wow, why are all these doors locked? What does this say? Bangarang. Actually, I can't read it. I have no idea what that is. Uh, can anybody read that? I can't read graffiti. <laughs> God dang. Left mouse button to interact. Thanks, man. Someone's either watching TV or getting into like a heated debate with a baby. Let's just say, eviction notice. Oh, sucks to be them, I guess. That stupid graffiti I can't read again. I don't know, it's hard, for, hard to read graffiti. Use the Q button to open your inventory. Oh, I have a key. Sick, boy. Can I use this on any door? Okay. So this is the, the tutorial. Good, it has a tutorial. It's letting me know. That's nice. Better than leaving me to my own devices and messing everything up. Look at this wine, boy. I don't know why some things are like paper and everything else is like super nice looking 3D. Like Michael over here, super nice 3D. Or is his name David? I don't know. Look at that moon. It's so sad. Boom. Music off. Eight ball. Reply hazy. Ask again later. Alright. Oh, well, let me ask again. Wow. Okay, back to the music. Look at that thing. That's wild. Oh, it's somebody holding their head. I, was, I saw something completely different. I thought it was like a monster thing. Can we put this in the fridge? Maybe? That seems like a good idea. Somebody shit on my plates! What the fuck? Someone broke into my house and shit on my plates. Oh, I'm a vegan person. I got the Annie's. I had a vegan person living in my house at one time. They like the anti stuff. It's like super healthy or something. Oh, I got a letter. Sick. Right. Reply haste. Oh, the, the package is behind the dumpster. God dang it, I gotta go back into the alleyway. Alright, you win this round game. Huh. Okay, well, we're going to the alleyway. I was going the right way. I knew it. Can I jump out this window? <laughs> Wouldn't that be wild? If I just like broke through the window, fell through and died? That'd be crazy, bro. That'd be a tragic ending. Oh, Lord. Run! I like that there's a sprint button, too. This creator's banging on all cylinders. I like this game so far. Until I get stuck, and then I will not like this game anymore. Pro t <laughs> just say. It's behind the dumpster. The package is behind the dumpster for my drugs. It's gotta be drugs. Cocaine! Oh, shoot. This wasn't here last time. Wow, suspicious package. I love it. Examine it. An unmarked package found in the alley behind your apartment. Why do I, uh, probably gotta take this back to my room, right? Because I can't mute. I'll probably get, like, thwacked in the head when I take it back to my room. 
Probably. Room number 10. Room number 11. Oh, look at that dude. He is stressed out. Fire extinguisher. Somebody stole the fire extinguisher. What if there's a fire? We're like actually... F oh, never mind. I got one. That floor is just fucked. Not me though. I might have broken into my house because I left the door unlocked. Probably. I do have another letter that's like, open the package, dumbass. Why'd you go get it and not open it? Oh, it's a thinker, Rodan. It's a chunky boy. Some other stuff. Is that new music? Yeah, you can just keep on doing you. Don't you attack me, random person in my house. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, a new letter. I can't move. Uh oh. Ooh. Shit. Sorry, that's just scared the God, I gotta stop jumping, bro. I like this my shoulder pain, bro. I like jump and I like dislocate my shoulder or something. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> God, I wasn't ready for scare. I didn't think this was a scary game. It's just <laughs> Boy that got me. Cause I didn't expect a scare. <laughs> I thought this was a surreal game. Not like terrifying. God, I wasn't ready for that. Shift to bedroom. Sick. Look at these bolts. Oh, I got a screw. What was in the package? This book. Pick up that key. We need it, probably. Shed key. Sick. Oh, we've been kidnapped. Nice. God dang it. Oh, a sewer. Freaking. Oh, God. I hate water in scary games. Please don't murder me, swamp thing. You slept shit. Okay, say no more, fam. Please don't eat me, monster thing. Oh, I'm. Where's over here? I feel like I'm so screwed, actually. Did I go up here? Oh, I can't make the jump. I'm not making it. Oh, wow, I don't have the jump, boy. Oh, I have a hard... Can I sprint and jump at the same time? I don't think I can. I'm struggling with that. Oh, I can't make it. Is there like a grab onto the ledge button? No. I need a box or something. It's creepy and really dark. Is this dark for you guys as it is for me? I can't see shit. Is there a way to turn up the light? Video. Oh my god, this guy's a genius. He thought of everything. What a freaking big brain, boy. Oh man, look at this. This is so much clearer and nice. Good job, man. This creator thought of everything, boy. I'm just like, oh, is this in the game? And it, it is. That's so rare. Usually on HIO games, just like the options are freaking getting stuck and not being able to do anything anymore. That's usually the option. But this guy has freaking mouse sensitivity, brightness, boy. The whole new world. Hold left mouse button on a box to move it. So I gotta go down there and grab a box. Alright, you taught me to. Can I die here? Oh, no. Oh, hell. What is this thing? Screws? More screws. Can I float on this if I pick it up and like jump at this? No, I can't. That'd say that'd be awesome. But not possible, unfortunately. What am I collecting screws for? There's two other things that I seem to be needing to collect as well, but I need to throw. Okay, I got you, game. I know what we're doing here now, kinda, not really. I'm on to you. You don't make the noise, it obviously won't make it. Is that okay? I am so lost. This thing just screwed my freaking perception. Go this way. Ah, uh, yes. Cage door. My favorite. Yeah, it hasn't been too hard so far, so I like that. Because point and clicks are usually either amazingly hard, or not too bad. So far, this one's not too bad yet. Let's climb this. 
now I'm gonna take this box back to the start. Get that key. And make some sick progress, boy. Get out of my way! I have a very important package for delivery. My nose are just gosh dang. Ooh, baby. No more jump scare arenas, please. Well, I'll be ready for it this time, hopefully. Yep. Yeah. Yes, more screws. What are these screws for, dude? Why are we collecting these? Inquiring minds want to know. I have seven. This is, like, actually terrifying. Like, being in a sewer is not, like, the best fill in the world. Who's it over there? It's a prisoner. Should I f free? I don't think I should. It's a jester prisoner, which means they're an absolute dick, probably. You look like a dick. Hey, ho, ho! Who could it be? A man with old shoes, that's what I see. Do not fret, my friend. You are in good care. I am the shoe jester. I can find you a pair. Oh my god, he rhymes. Uh, what kind of shoes do you have? I only wear Jordans. Hey, hey ho, ho, my shoes are sincerely the best. When you put them on, you won't be like the rest. <laughs> you're, you're a dick. We need blue pill shoes. What do the blue pip shoes do? Wait just a minute, is that all you can see? Look closer, my good friend, and see what might be. With these shoes on your, you'll get there real fast. When you arrive, no time shall have passed. Hey, screws, my good friend, this is all that I ask. I don't have enough. <laughs> Yee -ho, ho that is a shame. The price is like these, who is to blame? You. I said it already, but I'll say once more. I am the shoe jester and your mother's a whore. <laughs> and I run the store. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I couldn't resist. <laughs> That's what else he would have said if he didn't say I ran the store. <laughs> oh, my shoes are sincerely the best. Okay, I got it. <laughs> Blue shoes, red shoes. <laughs> These are just color, mere words. Put these shoes on and you can jump to the birds. Well, screws my good friend. A price so unheard. I don't have enough of those either. Hey, ho, ho, that is a shame with prices like these. You. What's the third option here? Let me ask you about something else. I've got to go. Hey, ho, ho, I'll be seeing you around. Outside are more screws just waiting to be found. That dude. <laughs> ooh, ooh. I didn't like that. Oh, I'm having a stroke. Okay, stay out of that place. That's a bad place. I actually probably need to go that way. What is that? That's blood up. Okay, I guess I'll go this way, see what happens. What the hell is going on? Oh, sick. Good job, me. Wow. Oh, we got new boxes over here. Who's that up there? There's a person up there. I've been kidnapped. Send help. These boxes will not let me climb that, regardless. I like the shoe jester, though. <laughs> oh, man. What's down here? Oh, more screws. Now I can afford the blue shoes, but I'd rather have red. It's, the bl it's a floppy disk. I need it. Can't reach it. Let's go down in the hole. I'm sure there's nothing important in here, but can't fit. Crack. I'm so glad there's not fall damage, because I would be getting my butt kicked. Maybe that's all the things that I can get right now. Maybe I have to get the blue shoes before I can get the red shoes. I don't know. Oh, I do like this game so far though. I just hope I don't get like super freaking stuck, to be honest with you. Oh, I didn't go up here. There might be more stuff up here. Uh-oh. So how am I gonna get back to the shoe jester? What have I done? Where am I? Black screen. He did say there were more screws outside, so maybe I'll find some screws out here to go back and get the other shoes. This door is locked. There are screws. Sick. I need one more and I can get the jumpy shoes, which I need desperately. The world looks super cool though. I like it. I can I really dig this game, to be honest with you. I wanna to touch this. 
Oh, sick. I don't know what that does. We'll just leave it alone, to be honest. Oh, sick. What are we doing now? Yeah. I think we did it. Whatever we were doing, we did it. Please don't, like, have a super hard puzzle game. I like you so much. I'd hate for our relationship to be ruined by a terribly hard puzzle. Oh, it's freaking Phil Collins! Or Zarbdon, or whatever his name is. What's that dude's name from the Power Rangers? Initiating startup sequence. Error. Positional data corrupted. Resetting positional data. Error. Orientation data corrupted. Resetting orientation data. Instruments active. Error. World data corrupted. Unable to find suitable archive. Archive. Error. System clock reset. Why are you resetting everything, fam? Starting machine to human interface. Greetings. What are you? I am the machine to human Zardon. Interface of a navigation old computer. What are you? I'm the one asking the questions here. Fine, be that way. It really doesn't bother me. Where am I? That is a good question. I do not currently know where we are. In fact, I do not know much of anything right now. You don't know much of anything. That is correct. I do not know where we are, where anything is, or even what it is. That means I don't know much of anything. Really. How can we figure out where we are? While I do not currently know where we are, it is possible for us to leave port with a coordinate disk. If you can find a di coordinates disk, place it in the navigation tower to your right so I can analyze it. Where can I find coordinate disk? I do not know. It is not out of the question that there would be one nearby, given the surroundings. Let me ask you about something else. Very well. Can you take me out of here? Unfortunately, my data archives are missing. That means I do not have any information about potential destinations. If you cannot bring me a coordinates disk, then we can travel to the location on the disk. Sick. Okay. He said there should be a coordinate disk around here. I'm assuming that's the floppy disk we saw in that tunnel. What happens if I go in the water? Do I die? No, it's very shallow water. I get eight bob monsters, so help me. It's going dark. Am I dying? I'm dying! Did I die? Okay, stay out of the water. Oh, at least the monster didn't eat me like freaking Lake Lago, bro. That scared the crap out of me, dude. That was terrifying. Just like the thought of something being under the water that looked like that just freaking ruined my day. <laughs> okay, so we need to go back into the sewer. We have things now so we can get double jump or whatever the red boots do. And then we can jump up to that one place and then we can get the floppy disk. Genius. Oh my god, we did it boys. Look at us. Look at God. I've heard that saying and I really like it for some reason. <laughs> Look at God. I can't. <laughs> Physically cannot do it. Hey dude, I need a floppy disk. Yeah, oh, look who's back. Looking for shoes to get your mom off crack. To get you on track. Okay, I gotta stop making mom jokes. Hey, hey, ho, ho, don't just stand there, my boy. Please take them and use them and try to enjoy. Yeah. I like him. Now I have double jump. Sick. I only get two jump? I thought I would maybe get more. Something, something. What a snore. What does this thing do, by the way? I don't even know why this thing's so... I don't know if I can even make this jump with double jump, to be honest with you. My box is not like this. More box, chill, dude. Can I put the box on top of here, maybe? Oh wait, there's a screw in here. Sorry. Sorry, box. Okay, the 
box is failing me. And maybe with two boxes in my double jump, I can make it anyways. As long as you believe. You know what I mean? I don't think we're gonna make it. I probably do not have the belief needed. Oh my god, this box is being a real dick. Oh, we did it. Oh, we still can't make it. We're not even freaking close. God dang it, Jester. You give me my dang coins back. Red boots are useless. Damn it. Oh, P.S. Okay. Uh, what do we do now? Send help. Okay, there's gotta be... I do have a key. A shed key. I have a contact book, which we examine. A book used for writing down... Useless. Okay. Okay. A rusty key with a picture of a heart. All this shit is useless to me. Actually. Huh. Weird. Strange. I like that tunnel. It's pretty sick, actually. I wish I knew how to open this. Let's equip the shed key. Maybe the shed key works here. You like shed key? No. No, you don't. Okay. Sweet. Oh, I'm an idiot. There's a shed upstairs. Duh. -huh. I'm not an idiot. I'm a genius. I just thought about that. Look at us. Or should I say, <laughs> look at God. <laughs> Oh, I don't know why that's so funny to me. I know it's supposed to be like looking at what God did, not like physically looking at God, but it's just... Oh, dang me. <laughs> okay, now we shed key this, and then we die probably. Tragic death. Oh, I'm a f oh boy, we're doing it. Oh, fuck. That calls for a doc Diet Coke soap. Jesus. It's a floppy disk. Fantastic. The radio's broken. Hey, dude. Why are you just hanging around? He's dead. Oh, really? I don't believe it. The smell is quite foul. Is that his shit bucket? I need a shit bucket, actually. Freaking jump at me, dude. I'll beat you. Radio doesn't work. Fix your radio, bitch. Actually, let me look in the mirror. That might be important. Is he looking at me? Why is he following me around, you weirdo? Watch him come after me for his coordinates disc. Wouldn't that be terrifying? Give me my disc back. Starbon, I have the coordinates disc. Oh, I didn't make the jump. I did make the jump because I'm a freaking G, boy. I got red boots. I have one of those. Boom, baby. Let's do this. Let's go, Zarbon. Or Zardon, or whatever your freaking name is. Zoron. I see you have... I see you have inserted a coordinates disc. Allow me to analyze it. Okay. We can leave when you are ready. Uh, where does it lead? I do not know where this disc points to. It does not contain any identifying information. Alright, I'm ready. Very well. Departing now. How long will it take to get there? It shouldn't take very long, at all. I would estimate only a couple of minutes. There. Our boat works! It's amazing! I can show you a world. Something, something splendid. Da, 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 da. Tell me, princess, when did you let your heart last decide? I can't remember the words. Something, something, Aladdin. <laughs> On a magic carpet ride. Except I have a boat. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. This is quite a long boat ride. Boat town? Wow. We did it. And then we jump. Oh wow, it won't let me jump. Oh baby, don't jump off the boat while it's in motion. Oh shit, I went in there. Sick, nice. Progress. Sup, you got screws? I need screws. Thank you. These will go into my blue shoe collection. 
Who works over here? Oh my god, even more screws. These guys are rich. Fantastic. Good job, guys. Okay, that door's locked. But we got like enough screws for my blue shoes. Wonder what else you can buy with screws. There's gotta be more stuff. But yeah, I like this game so far. You collect screws, you get power grubs, you have like some cool characters. There's dead people. That's always a plus. Um, scared the crap out of me. That's always a plus. <laughs> There's uh, um, currency laying around. What's up, girl? I like your cat. Talk to me, cat. Tell me your ways. There's gotta be screws in this place. Give me your screws. If you want to get out of here alive. What's up, girl? Yes, hello. Hello. I have a seat. What can I do for you today? I don't know. What can you do for me today? Who are you? I am what you would call a medium. I am connected to the spirits of those who have taken forever for text or scroll. Who have long been dead. Oh, you're Edward Snowden. What's that? Not Edward Snowden. Joe. What's that one guy? The psychic guy that fucking lies to people? All of them? That doesn't make any sense. Lucky for you, belief is not a prerequisite for my services. He used to come on TV all the time. It was like John... What was that dude's name? Oh. Tell me, is there anything that you need to know today? You have a certain look about you. I don't know where I am. Hmm, yes, of course. I can tell. I'm in Boat Town. Unfortunately, my services come at a cost, my dear. I can't curse your, cure your amnesia, but I can help you get on your way. For a price? What's the price? I charge a mere three screws per reading. Even the charlatans in the beginning can't compete with that price. Uh, I don't want to waste screws on you, actually. Okay. A reading will cost you three screws. Here you go. I see you in a small room with a happy man. You're answering questions. Anything else? That's all for now. You suck, lady. You all oh, lick my nuts. Why do you have this door locked? I bet there's a dead person in here. I should whoop your ass. Oh, she took my money. <laughs> God damn. We learned valuable lessons. Psychics are useless. It's a lesson we should have already known. But, you know, I'm an idiot. <laughs> God damn. Pretty much. The classic. What's up here? Is this where King Babam lives? At the top of the mountain? Oh, what's up, dude? You got a cat too? Oh no, he's got alcohol. <laughs> what do they tell you about dark alleys? Get out of here before I stick you. How do you don't frighten me, bald man? He comes after me. I'm gonna run faster, I guess. Get out of here before I stick you, kid. I'm gonna stick you. Stick you, boy. It's a trash bag. Toilets. Oh, there's gotta be screws in some of this poop. It's gotta be. It's a key. It's a screw. I knew there was a screw in the poop. You just have to believe. Who wouldn't shit out a screw? Is there any more poop screws? Give me the poop screws. <laughs> uh, I guess that's all of them. Well. Better to find one than none at all. What's up, man? You look like a weirdo. Stay away from my trash pile, bro. You're a trash pile. That's right, bro. I'll knock you out, dog. That's my trash. Bro, I will end you. Who are you talking to? You got, like, screws in your trash pile? Is that what? Oh, it's a teddy bear. That's my teddy bear now. Yeah, bitch, what's up? I did just take your teddy bear right in front of your face. What you gonna do about it? Bro, I see you around my trash, dude. It's just poop. You just got poop. You had a teddy bear, but that's my teddy bear now. That's quite the boat you have there. Not many looking so healthy these days. Can you tell me about this place? Well, stranger, I'll go easy on you. Folks around here don't appreciate such stupid questions. You're a dick. 
so don't go around asking them. It's just a town. Excuse me, what's the name of the town? Stranger, does every town really need a damn name? If I make one up, will it make you feel any better? Yeah, sorry. Bro. Well, just for you, we'll call it Boat Town. If you look closely, you'll notice this used to be a boat. That's why you and I are going to call it Boat Town. Look at you. Anything interesting going on around town? Been a while now since we started seeing these hooded fellows creeping around the place. They set up shop in a shack near the top of the boat. Some of the locals read in there from time to time, too. Uh, that's all, I guess. Not so many what? Not so many boats. Are you stupid or something? How can I get out of here? Stranger, I don't know what the hell you even mean by that. Just get back on your fancy boat and leave if it's so bad. I'm going to go now. I'll see you later, fam. It's a meat station. He looks really happy. Yeah. Oh, screw. Mine. Yeah. Mine. He stares at you in silence. Hello. He stares at you in silence. Who are you? He stares at you in silence. I'm going to go now. That is a creepy man. You are a creepy man. What's up with you paper people and being jerks? Like, for real. A freaking fortune teller better give me my damn money back. The more I think about it, the more I want to go in there and take my three screws back. Damn you! What is that dude's name, though? John something, I could have swore. It was a psychic dude that used to come on, I think, after, like, Oprah and Maury. I can't remember the dude's name. Is it Edward? Is his name Edward or is it John? Is it John Edwards? Is it freaking John Edwards? Did I just remember it? I'm gonna Google it. John Edwards. No, that's fucking Senator. <laughs> it is John Edward. Is it John Edward? Yeah, it was John Edward. Okay, I'm not retarded. I was like, okay. John Edwards is a Senator that cheated on his wife with cancer. I forgot all about him, actually. Terrible person. <laughs> God dang. Hmm. Alright. We're almost to the top of the trash pile. And we're doing good. Great progress, boy. What's down here? Who are you? What's up, friend? Take a box. It's on the house. A box? Y yeah. Anything going on around town? I've moved all the boxes here. I've got to go. Take a box any time. It's on the house. Okay, you talked me into it. Actually, I don't need the boxes right yet. I might take the boxes later. Who are you? Santa Claus. Ho ho ho, you see him, see him over there? That bastard son of a bitch. Guy with the nice shack? Poof. Nice shack. That piece of shit doesn't know the first thing about exterior design. Look at his trash fire placement. It's not even close to his chair. And what about his garbage bag? Right underneath his binoculars. He must be smelling shit all day. But maybe he likes that. <sighs> What's with the binoculars? One day I peeped my head outside and noticed he had binos trained right at on me. Two can play that game. Why do you hate your neighbor so much? He's what you might call a one-upper. A one-upper? You know, a one-upper. You tell a story and then he interrupts you with a better story. You pull at a bar in your house, he puts in a second story. Prick. I've gotta go now. I need your binoculars though, that'd be really nice of you. And your screws, thank you. Can I have the binoculars? No, I can't. Unfortunate. But I can. No, I can't. I was about to say, I can go into his house, but that is a lie. Who are you, weirdo? Leave me alone, man. Alright, he talked me into it. Who's this hoodie guy over here? Murderer? I should go get the binoculars from the other house before the murderer kills me. I have so many screws. Alright, psychic lays forgiven. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Everything alright? Yeah. What do you want? 
Is that your couch? Yeah. I don't have much in this world. But at least I have my beloved couch. It is a nice couch. Thank you. Anything going on around town? Th that freaky guy moved into the last shack. I guess I won't get a place of my own. Freaky guy. Yeah. I guess that's not very nice of me. I don't like to be mean, but, but, but. But? Well, you know, he's a religious freak. Like God and stuff. I, I don't want to keep talking about it. He might hear us. Gotta go now. Can I start? Oh, okay. I've done all my dialogues with him. Do you have... Where's this couch at? I want the couch. Who's this guy? Who are you, trash bag man? Hello. Where are we? That's the shitter place. It's a place where we gather our shits. There's this dude. He's a weirdo. Can I go into your place? No. You are not permitted here. Please leave. Alright, you win this round, weirdo. Alright, let's go steal this guy's binoculars because he has like a second story house. So, I can get up there. I see you talk to my good neighbor over there. What did you two talk about? You? Right. What else were he talking about? We're practically joined at the hip. What do you need, friend? I've got to go. Well, that was a good conversation. Okay, I know I can get up to a second story though if I do the jump right. Like this! Yes! And there's binoculars pointed at. Ah, oh, there's flowers in the window. I'm sick. Okay, let's go to the top of the garbage dump. Talk to all the people. Oh man, it's kind of slidey when you sprint, ain't it? Oh, is this another dude? You are not permitted here. Please leave. You're not my dad, dude. Why are there so many of y'all? What are you guys doing? Ah, yes. The old recruitment office. What are you guys recruiting people for? I have a lot of screws. Hello there! Look who's new in town. It's great to meet you. My name is Elijah and I'm the recruiter. Recruiter for what? I am so very glad you asked. That question. I am the recruiter for the almighty, all-powerful, one true creator, or as we call him, God. I love him so much. So, like a church? Not just any church. The one true church of the one true God. So, how do you know he's the one true God? Oh my! You're worse than I thought. Let me answer your question with a question. Or a, a series of questions. Okay. Oh, he's a smiling guy I was supposed to meet. Okay, ask away. That's just great. You may not even know it, but you've taken your first step towards salvation. Hooray! So here it goes. The first question. Do you have or have ever had difficulty sleeping? Everyone has, probably, yes. Oh, great! Er, uh, I mean, sorry to hear that. Next question. Have you ever wanted to cause harm to others? Yes. Ah, of course! Final question. Do you often feel like you have no direction or purpose in life? No, not really. Okay then. Well, that's all the questions. How did I do? Well, I've got to be honest with you. You lied to me. Why would you lie to me? I didn't lie to you. See there, it is again. You cannot continue to lie when your eternal life is on the line. You do not understand the gravity, the gravy of the situation. Right, so what now? I guess it doesn't matter. 
Right now, we need someone like you. Why, well, I've been instructed to move on to Phase 2 anyway. I'm really excited for Phase 2. Phase 2? You can think of Phase 2 as an opportunity to prove your worth to the Creator. Uh, what do I need to do? This first task is real simple. There have been reports of a bad man somewhere on the boat. He's been stealing people's belongings. I am going to give you this doohickey. Take this doohickey and use it on the bad man when you found him. Wait, what does this thing do? All you need to know is that it brings glory to the creator. I actually don't know what it does. Got it. Come back when you've caught the bad man. I know who the bad man is. It's a guy that won't talk to me. It's the fucking meat man. It's gotta be the meat man. 100% the meat man. Alright, we're gonna explode and ate the meat man. There are long load screens. But it's worth it. I actually do really like this game so far. Just in case I missed something real quick. Look at this board. Can I look at anything in here? I tech! Your chair belongs to me! Ha 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 <laughs> You do not understand the gravy of this situation. You are correct. I do not. Oh hell, I fell. No! Gosh! At least you don't take fall damage. Oh, that made my butt pucker though. I thought I was gonna take fall damage. You get like super slidey when you sprint on this level for some reason. I could just taste the dudes in the black robes, but I don't think they're the bad people. I think they're part of the religious cult. I think the bad person's the meat man. I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna go get the meat man. He's not ready. You are not permitted here. Please leave. You're not my dad. Strangely enough. Okay, I can't jump up there. Yep. Yep. Can I go in even higher? No, this is the top. That is a really nice building, though. I want to get in there at one point. Who's this guy? Oh, you're the thief. Cough. Hey, <laughs> kid. You must be new in town. I'm the merchant. Here in town. I sell shit. You need any shit? What do I buy your shit with? Oh, what the hell kind of question is that? You buy it with screws just like everywhere else. You got any kid? Take a look at what I got. What's this key go to? Ha, huh, hell I know. Five screws, you want it or not? I'll take it. Yeah, I guess. There goes all my screws. Probably should have taste him, but I really think the culprit is the meat man. I'm gonna go get him. Hello there, friend. You look pretty comfortable. I have transcended this mortal plane. I have become the most person comfortable person alive. What can I do for you? Do you know anything about a thief around town? Friend, as a matter of fact, I do. That bastard stole my favorite pillow. You know who took it? No, I have not. Not a clue. I haven't. I saw him slip out of here. He had a, his hoodie on, so I can't make out who did it. Do you know where he went? No, not really. He ran towards the toilets. That's the last I've seen of him. Alright. Thanks, man. You were very helpful. No screws in your poop bucket? Weird. Okay, so we know that he went towards the toilet, so that's good to know. Let me look at that key I picked and grabbed from him. Do you have a pillow, bitch? Oh, that's not him, I guess. What's a jerry can? Waterside... What does this say? Waterside shack key. Oh, I know where that is. Hey, your boy is going to the waterside shack. Where did I find this teddy bear for? What does it do? I believe this is the waterside shack, probably. I have a jerry can, but I don't know what it's for. I have a lot of things that I don't know what it's for. Is my freaking item that that dude gave me a freaking car key? What is this? 
Interesting, interesting. I bet that Jester's down there being a dick. I can almost guarantee it. Mr. Janitor, or Jester, are you here? I've come to see you. Oh, the world's interlocked? Oh, sick! I think this is on the other side of that cage that I saw earlier, probably. That's quite neat. Hey, boo-boo. Oh, now I'm the one that's up here looking down on the people. I wonder if I could see somebody else playing the game. That'd be really, like, surreal. That would be surreal. That'd be freaking mind-blowing. If you just saw somebody doing what you were doing, like, while you were in there, that would be some sick programming, actually. That would be really cool. Okay, so this was pointless, actually. Nice. Let me make sure I'm not missing something. I feel like I'm missing something. Am I missing something? I'll probably have to come back here later. It seems like certain things don't spawn until you've been around, if you know what I mean. I like this game, though. A lot. I actually like this a whole bunch. For a point-and-click, I was expecting, like, the 2D point-and-click where you have to look for hours to figure out how things combine or go together or something. But so far, it's been rather enjoyable. I'm quite intrigued about where the story will go. I don't know what, what was the purpose of the Waterside Shack, but at least I got into it, I guess. Better to get in than to never get in at all. So we know our next clue is to go to the toilet. I'm pretty sure the thief, though, is the cook that stares at me in silence. The meat man. Can I get the meat man and just try it? Excuse me. Do you have a pillow, Mr. Meat Man? Never mind, I'll come back to you. I'll do it the right way. Can I double jump up here? No, of course not. Why would I think such a crazy thing? Then you gotta go around the whole island to get up there. Do 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 do. I wonder what the f five things at the bottom left are, or what they're supposed to be. I don't know. No one knows. It's a mystery. A mystery. All right. So he said he was near the toilet, which is over here. That's where the toilets are. Where's your pillow at, man? Took off towards the toilet. Oh, it's probably that one dick that was like, don't come near my trash. I'm a freaking jackass. Where you at, dude? I know you're over here somewhere. Where's the dang trash man at? You heard anything about the- I, I haven't had anything stolen. Just, just try to mind my own business. So you know nothing? I mean... You mean what? He, he took some whiskey. Do you know where he went? B behind the boat. That was pretty difficult for you, wasn't it? Yes, yes. Please. Please don't talk to me. Alright, you went this round. Behind the boat? My boat? Leave me alone, man. He's gonna say the thief is his frickin' neighbor. Thief, no. I've got to go now. He don't know anything. Useless. You know anything about a thief right now? Can't say that I do. Sorry. Surprised they didn't blame each other. I guess they like each other enough that they won't rat each other out, I guess. Nice. What camaraderie. Where's that one dude? Like, don't touch my trash, bro. Right here. What's up, man? I don't know, I'll see you around my trash, dude. He said behind the boat. What boat? Okay, he's not it. Why don't I just use this on everybody? Hmm. Okay, it's not him either. Let's ask this guy if he knows anything about the thief. Have you heard anything about people getting their stuff stolen? I haven't heard nothing about no thief. I mean, I'm not much for conversation if you didn't notice. Have you lost anything recently? Stranger, that's not your damn business. Leave me alone. Oh, you're useless. 
He said he's behind the boat. Is he talking about the island boat or our boat? Because he should not be behind our boat. Is she the thief? Are you the thief? No, she's kind of a thief. You're the thief, I bet. Do you have a pillow in here? Jackass? You have a lot of things. I'm gonna use this on you. Ah, oh, didn't work. God dang it. Alright. Said it was behind the boat. What does that mean? Is it. Well, this is Boat Town. So is the whole island a boat? And if so, how does one get behind it? This was a boat. What would the behind of the boat be? It'd be like, right. Oh, it's a freaking dude in the alleyway. He's the freaking Shanky McShank fuck. Got it. I'm coming for you, boy. Forgot about this dude. He's sketchy enough to be the freaking dick. Got you now, motherfucker. What's up? Got him. Now we step on his ass. Yeah, we did it. We murdered him. Just how we planned it. Perfect. I wonder what's at the top of the boat. I'm gonna go to the top of the boat. I feel that in my soul. Climb the ladder. Yeah, I climbed so freaking fast. It's insane. Oh, it only takes me up here. Where's uh, y'all's lord and savior, the freaking weird super Christian guy? I know he was somewhere around here. Right here. I did your bidding. Now give me stuff. Give me, give me. Have you caught the bad man yet? I caught the bad man. You did? Fantastic. I knew you could do it. God always knows. Soon you'll be ready to move on to phase three. What did I do with the guy? What did that thing do to the guy? He disappeared. All you need to know is that it brought glory to God. What more is there to know? Phase three. You heard me right. Phase three. So exciting. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. We aren't done with phase two yet. Are you ready for the second task? Yeah. Ah, oh, so lucky. This is an easy one. We've looked through all the shacks in the city, trying to find anything that does not honor God. But there is this one we can't get into. It's the second one on the bottom of the waterline, with the identical one next to it. Try and find a way into it. I've already done it. I've already unlocked that. Oh, I like that they had that option. You did? Oh, amazing! And with that, we're on to the final task. We'll be doing together. No. Soon, phase three will begin. You won't be here for phase three? That's right. You will have the exclusive privilege of meeting one of the apostles. Such an honor. Don't worry though, I'll be here whenever you want to talk to me. At least I think. So what's the next step? The third task will involve venturing into the big bad world. We need you to bring us the shoes of an important dead man. An important dead man? You got it. An important dead man. Where can I find this important dead man? I don't know the specific location, or person in question. All I know is that he's important, and he has nice shoes. So are you up to the challenge? I'm going to give it some thought. Oh. I'll do it. I've been told you came here on a boat. That's super. I think that will come in handy. Come back here with those shoes. I know you can do it. Useless. Is the jester dead? Did the jester die? Oh, the hang dude, maybe. Okay. Too easy. Let's go back into the tunnel and then we'll talk to the psychic if we really have to. I don't think she's gonna help us regardless. But it might be worth it for a try. Uh 
Yeah, the only dead dude I know is on the other island, but I can't get there because the stupid boat won't take me back for some reason. This is a big dick. supposed to do. Oh, sick. Huh. Interesting. Maybe these open the gates? Hmm. Not sure. Trying to get them all down or all up, I wonder. I'm sure we're trying to do one or the other, but I'm not sure which one. Alright, let's try putting them all down, see what happens then. did something I think I think I heard something click clack yay look at us we did a thing and we found a new coordinates disk sick I don't know why we just did that but I did it sick Hey, oh, look who's back. Yeah. Oh. I'll have it soon. So I have a new coordinates this. Does that mean I should use I guess I'll just use it then. Cause I I'm assuming the important person's not on the island. I have no idea. That was a sick jump though. Gotta admit, that was pretty good. Yay, we've opened a new door. So we don't need the boat to travel from place to place. We can actually travel through the sewers to every world pretty much. Sick. Guess we'll go to world two and then figure out from there where the shoes guy is. I'm glad I didn't waste money on that daggum psychic pro show. What's up, man? I got a new disc. I see you found another coordinates disc. Let me take a look. We can depart when you are ready. Let's go. Okay, departing now. Allow me to navigate. Yeah, man, all you. I'll see you later, shitty boat island. You suck. I'm sure I'll be back sometime. Probably. Oh, there's a dude up there. Damn, that's probably the fancy pants, man. We had to kill and get the... God dang it, let's go back. Oh. 
I guess he spawned after we accepted phase two on that corner island. I don't know how we're gonna get back though because this guy doesn't really backtrack the boat, unfortunately. But whatever, we'll figure it out. I'm sure we can get back through the sewer. Wow, look at this place. Do do do. Oh, it's a graveyard. Fantastic. This is where we'll find the dead man's shoes for sure. An important dead man's shoes. We're here. Honey, I'm home. Ah, oh, yeah. Screws for my blue shoes that I will hopefully get this time. I need a shovel. My kingdom for a shovel. He looks important. John Steve is dead. Oh, I knew I needed a shovel. The world will never be as important without <laughs> Funny. Well, if I had any question before, now we know for sure that this is the guy that we adore. <laughs> for sure adore. That doesn't rhyme. But I tried my best. I'm not the gesture guy, apparently. Oh, hello. We don't get too many visitors out here. Is this your home? Yes, sir, it is. The wife and I have been living here for humbly for nearly two decades. You have a wife. Sure do. She's a doll. That's a pretty small bed for two people. Oh, how perceptive. We're in between mattresses right now. She's been bugging me about it. Let me ask you about something else. Where can I find a shovel? Well, I'd be more than happy to lend you my shovel, but I can't seem to find it. I think the better half must have moved it somewhere. She left just a bit ago to get... Uh, some food and uh, gas. Okay, I'm gonna go find your mom. I mean your wife. Whatever she is. She's at the gas station. Why is the food at the gas? You gotta be over here. This is like some raccoon city. There's gonna be a zombie outbreak or something. It's gonna be great. Ah, yes, this town only has a gas station. Last time I went to a gas station, it did not end well, and Eddie from Iron Maiden was trying to murder me. Very traumatic. Oh my god, there's a phone. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to call somebody. 1-800, give me the fucking shovel. Oh god, I'm scared. Looking for a drink? 2%. This game is freaking awesome, though. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, sh gas stations are bad. Traumatized. You can find that video on my YouTube as well. Advertising. Is she in here? Get out of there. Oh, that's her. Is that the wife? Welcome to gas. How can I help you? Have you seen a woman come in here recently to buy sh food? Ah, sir, we haven't had a customer in over three years, and our last customer was a man. You know the fisherman? Have you seen his wife today? The fisherman's wife? This wife hasn't been here in over three, four years. How is this place open if no one comes here? <sighs> Sir, I just work here. I don't know. Are we done yet? This place is just called gas? Ah, <sighs> yes. Is that all? You know where I can get a shovel? Sir, we don't shovel. You suck, lady. I don't like you. Ah, oh, now I can beat your ass because I'm behind the counter. JK. Violence is bad and never the answer. Except for when it is the answer. Life's short. Why not treat yourself to some gas? Is there anything I can interact with in here? Nope. I'll see you in hell, lady. Okay. Oh, what the fuck is that? That is a scary clown. Alright. Yep. Yeah. I didn't need to go to sleep tonight. It's not like I have work in the morning. <laughs> uh, clowns are bad. Alright, if you attack me, Mr. Clown, I will not freaking be happy. Just putting that out there. Where's the damn fisherman's fucking wife with a shovel? Well, uh, his wife doesn't exist, obviously. But where's the shovel at? God dang it. Technically, I don't need his wife. I just need the shovel. Oh, freak, I went into a room on accident. 
Hmm. Bad. It's a panda. Awesome. I have been summoned. Who the hell are you? Hey. You doing all right? Just fine. I'm doing just fine. Fine. Who are you? I'm Stanley. It's nice to meet you. What are you doing in here? Just relaxing. Let me ask about something else. Where can I, do you know where I can get a shovel? No. <laughs> All right, dude, you suck. <laughs> Goodbye. Motel room nine. The panda knows. What do you know, panda? Tell me your secrets. We're related, probably. This is a strange room. Dude's completely flat. <laughs> Damn, dude. I could talk to the fisherman and tell him that his wife doesn't exist, but that seems like it could be a bad idea. Which means we're gonna probably do it. Well. Need room. Oh, shit. Oh, oh it's another panda. Oh, bro, you scary as hell. He looks at you with intent. Who are you? Jonathan. Do you know where I can get a shovel? No. Do you know the fisherman? Have you seen his wife? I do. She's dead. She's dead? How do you know? They put her remains in the big tomb. I saw them do it. How did she die? I don't know. Where did she die? Three, oh, three years and six months ago. Let me ask you about something else. Can I have a room? You know where I can get a shovel? No. Can I have a room? There's one room open. Ten screws. <sighs> I'll never get my red shoes. Never get my red shoes. <sighs> this is my room? Oh, Jonathan's a scary bitch. Which key did you give me the room to, dick? Your room service sucks. Oh, 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 This door's locked, so I can open it with my key. Amazing. Deductive reasoning at its finest. <laughs> Great, I get the possessed room with a freaking devil hand and a freaking TV that keeps on when I should have had a panda. Freaking bullshit. Why does everybody else get a panda room besides me? Ominous poem. Examine. TV static in my sleep. All I see is static. And watch, I watch him creep. TV static in my dreams. All I hear is static. No one can hear my screams. Sick. Can we just turn it off, maybe? Uh, if there's a monster in here, say, Ayo! Well, why is this room all lit up like this? Well, because of static TV. Nothing else in here besides a stupid poem? Fuck you, poem. Suck. Oh, damn it. Hi, right, static man, what's up? He's kind of scary looking. You so tall, bitch? The figure opens his mouth, but all you can hear is Sick. All right, whatever. I'm getting out of here one way or another. Hiya! Okay, I'm not getting out of here. What the fuck? You want to taste my poem? Oh, that didn't work. Okay, well, are we stuck in here to die? Like, what's up? What about this? Can this combat static? No. What do I do to get out of here? Let me out. Oh, there's the door. Sick. Fuck you, static man. We win again. All I do is win, 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 no matter who what. Holy crap, it's a unicorn. Pony. Ah, uh, yes, I have enough money for my red shoes yet again. Oh, fuck, dude. 
What are you doing? He holds up a slab of meat and begins whispering. Should we trust him? He seems a bit dirty. Uh, hello? Silence! Jebediah will decide whether an audience is in order. He brings the slab of meat close to his ear, meaty juices dripping down his cheek. Jebediah will allow you audience. So who is Jebediah? Please call him Jeb. There's no need to be so formal. Jeb is my best friend. We are inseparable. You give that piece of meat a name. You ignorant fool. There is much to learn from our meat brethren. You can't even hear them? Hear who? The meat? Listen closely. Put Jeb up to your ear. Do you hear him? Yeah. Good. What does he say? He said your hair looks dumb. Of course. You are ready. Do not look at meat as a mere flesh material. No, now, that people are, meat are people too. They have their own feelings and desires right. and they're delicious. You feel the lore of the meat. Whatever that means. Chuckles. Well, at least I like meat now, I guess. Weird. Interesting. Good to know. Should I talk to him again? Look, Jeb, he's back. Okay, dude. I'm gonna turn the light out on your ass. Nope, didn't work. Hi, right, man. I'll see you later. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. I'm a child. An ignorant child. <laughs> God, I can't even make it over the dang rail. Alright, let's talk to Tammy. Or is there anything to the right over here? No, it's just a fence. Hi, Tammy. I need help. I need a lighter real bad. Please, and thank you. Can I buy a lighter? Thank God. Uh, that'll be three screws. Here you go. I'll never get my red shoes, bro. Okay, now we can start the fire. Thank goodness, guys. Oh, man. That was traumatizingly stuck. Not really that bad, actually. It was only like maybe 15 minutes ish, which isn't bad for a point and click. But it can always get worse. Right. Looks like you need right. fire, baby. And we did it. Hooray. Give me the shovel. Right. Give me, give me. Oh, baby girl. Don't kill me in your freaking... Nice. She is a shovel. His wife was a shovel the whole time. And we're somewhere deeper in the catacombs. Wonderful. Which means I can't afford my shoes still because everybody's taking all my damn money. Where are we? This is not the sewer that we were looking for. Okay. This is strange. This door is locked. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't be here yet. Yeah, let's just go back. Before we get lost up. Oh, fuck. Cards. See, I'm kind of theorizing that there's supposed to be something on every load screen, but some of them just don't load in. Because that's why possibly the load screen... Oh, this is a different room. Sick. I still can't afford your shoes, bro. I promise one day I'll buy your shoes. We gotta be getting close to the end of the game, though, because we've almost locked all, unlocked all the sewer passages. Now, if I can find my door, that leads me... God, I can't see anything. It's a frozen tundra. Okay, nice. This should take me back, because I need to get the dude's shoes. Then we'll go to the sewer, and we'll take the shoe set, little punk kid. And then, yeah, man, we're killing it. We're doing great. Alright, now we undig the shoes. And then one day, I will have the screws to get the speed boost, dang it. 
Yeah, see, like right now, while it's black screen, it's probably supposed to have a GIF there or whatever the image thing it is. I'm assuming. I could be wrong, but I'm usually not, except for when I am. Oh, nice. Where are your shoes at, dog? Six shoes, fam. Those are like Crocs or, or flippy floppies. I don't know what those are. Just towel slippers. All right, let's go back through here, and then we're gonna go back to the other place. Because this is the only way I know how to backtrack, really, is by using the um, sewer system. Because the boat doesn't seem to backtrack. The boat only knows forward. Take our shoes, enter eight phase three or whatever it's called. And then we'll come back. I don't like this frozen tundra place. Because I feel like I could get lost here for like a hot minute. I'm sure it's not a large area because I've found my way the first time pretty easily. But it seems large enough that it could take me a while and I could loop around a lot to the same door because I'm dumb. And I really want to go into that cottage cabin because it looks like super comfy. Does it not? Does nobody else think that that cabin looks freaking comfy as a craziness? I'll get out. I don't like that laugh, but I know it's the Jester dude being a weirdo. Stop being a weirdo, Jester dude. I'll get your red shoes or blue shoes one day. Hopefully the phase three dude will give me money. Alright, phase three begins. Please don't kill me. Phase three better not be killing me, goddammit. There was a dude that I want to check out as well while I'm here. There's like a dude on the corner of the island while I was driving my boat away. I don't know if he was just appearing for the boat cutscene or if it's a real person. But we shall see. He was like right over here. He's not here. Okay, maybe I was just saying things. Weird. Creepy pasta, baby. This game would be a really sick creepy pasta, I think. I really like the world. It's strange and it's super interesting. Not just interesting, super interesting. There's still a lot that's mysterious and unknown. Ooh. That slippy and slidey to ride off the mountain. Yo, fam. I got the thing. Oh, f what the f Damn it! Where'd that little redhead punk go? Oh shit, it's aliens! Hell no, son! Hell no! That scared the fuck out of me! Oh no, it's vaporizing my ass! Phase 3 sucks! God damn it. <laughs> Fucking phase 3. Bitch! What are you doing? Did you get those fancy shoes yet? Here they are. Wow! Just stunning! And with that, our time together has come concluded. It has been an honor working with you. Oh. Uh, where do I go now? Head down to the reception room by the docks. The fossil is waiting for you. Okay. Take care! Man. <laughs> I really thought I was going to die to that alien spaceship. I was like, Jesus Christ, that red-headed punk tricked me. Bro, those noises are loud, man. They scare the crap out of me every time. <laughs> every dang time, boy. <sighs> Heart attack, bro. Oh, what's up, dude? A3 has begun. You look different than the last guy. While loyal, Elijah fails to comprehend the bigger picture. Oh, he's an idiot. I did not say that. He is on the right path. Just not as far along as some of uh, some others. You were telling him what to do. Myself and two of the other apostles were helping him guide you. Which brought you here. What do you want me to do now? Phase three will not be a, will be a, not unlike the previous two. The primary difference being that I'm not here to toy with you. 
I have to tell you to do something. It requires doing. Was the stuff I was doing before not important? It was important. But it also was also unfocused. If the person telling you to do things is as blind as you, then neither of you are furthering your path to enlightenment. You are just following orders. What's so special about me? You can move. How do we proceed? True. I am the only one that moves. I have unlimited power. Find your way to the beginning. Once there, you must establish contact with an outbound missionary. His favorite drink is brown Bolivian. Does God allow drinking? The vessel has never disallowed the consumption of alcohol. Why do I need to know his favorite drink? If you bring him the brown Bolivian, he will know we sent you. You may require your assistance to begin the operation. Come when your tasks are complete. The fuck, bitch? Who do you think you're talking to? You can't even move. I'm the only one that moves in this world. I feel like I backtracked for really no reason, to be honest, because I could have just continued on my boatly way. Maybe I needed to know about the brown Bolivian or whatever. <laughs> I don't know. My boat's not here. I gotta backtrack even... Ah. I must traverse even farther for no reason. <laughs> God dang it. I have yet to purchase the blue shoes of destiny. But I really need screws for like quest items though, so it's kind of sketchy to buy the boots. Because what if I buy the boots and then I don't have money for something else? Because I could have just bought the boots with that like nine copper I had. No, I couldn't have. I couldn't have actually because I wouldn't have had a way to get down here. But the game does a pretty good job of that actually. I was about to like criticize how that was like a possible mistake, but I was wrong. I am a grown man and I can admit when I was wrong. It's a special skill. Not many people have it. <laughs> yes. More patting myself on the back. Unlimited power. <laughs> uh. I believe the other door is this way. And I was wrong. Strangely enough, this happens. More often than it should. There should be a door around here somewhere, though. There's the cabin. Usually it's, like, to the right of the door, which is right here, so it should be to the right over here, but I didn't see it. For some reason. There it is. I think. Might be the one. It'd suck if it was the one back to the sewer. Not super bad, but it is the one back to the sewer. Good job, me. I oh, know it isn't. Yay. Good job, me. Wow. Brown Bolivian. I'm not gonna head back to that dude on Boat Island. There's so much backtracking. Screw you, Boat Island guy. It seems like my boat's becoming sentient anyways, and like remembering something very important. So I don't think I'll have to spend much more time with these crazy people. My boat will tell me what needs to be done. You have loaded the disc. We can leave when you are ready. I'm ready. Party now. Allow me to navigate. Bro, you always navigate with your furrowed eyebrow. I have not navigated yet once. I am the captain. Look at me. Look at me. I'm on top of the boat. I'm the captain now. What's that? Oh, that's that one dude with the non-existent wife. His wife doesn't even have a corpse. God dang it. The unknown. Enter the unknown. This is probably the last disc place, to be honest with you. I still don't know what the circles in the bottom left do, to be honest. But it's alright. I don't think I need to know. The beginning. Oh, we're at the beginning with the brown Bolivian. Look at these tree houses. This place looks awesome. 
let's talk to the boat before we go because the boat's actually starting to say interesting things tell me more boat here we are the beginning i remember this place you've been here before i believe i have what do you remember about it these sensor readouts are a match high air pressure water vapor and airborne pollutants perhaps i was built here why do you think you were built here oh he doesn't want to talk about it you all right hello okay he doesn't want to talk about it apparently something bad's gonna happen you're good ash now i'm bad ash what's up uh, the tourism department welcomes you to the beginning city of romance wonder and entertainment my name is larry how can i help you why is it called the beginning uh, listen man i don't know i just work here okay What's going on around town? He pulls out a piece of paper. It says here, some guy went missing three months ago, and Dave, the owner of the tavern, also hasn't been seen in a while. There's also a two-for-one special at Billy's action figure stall. Can't read the rest because dumbass Cindy spilled coffee on the paper this morning. I got to get going, friend. You are so invigorating and awesome. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, coffee man. This place looks freaking confusing. There are a lot of pathways here. Sup, man? If you will excuse me, I am the chef here. I have many meals to cook. Go bother someone else. I don't like you, Mr. Chefs. I don't like any of you chef people. Fuck y'all. <laughs> this must be the stall with two for one action figures. Sick. Important. Uh... See anything you like? You've got to get going. Uh... Let me know if something catches your eye. Apparently nothing does. See anything you like? Got to go. Apparently not. Let me know when something catches your eye. We can make a great deal. Sick. Good to know, man. There's a bunch of freaking stalls up here, dude. What is going on? Oh, he's got... He's a... Howdy, mister! You want to buy an action figure? Maybe later. That's okay, mister. Just let me know. Uh, no. See anything of interest? Got to get going. Let me know if you need anything. What is with all these people selling stuff, bro? And then they just look at me. Oh, hell, it's mobsters. Can I have a Tommy gun? The hell are you? This is our turf, kid. Why don't you leave before you get hurt? Okay, dude. You can't even move. I'm turning your music off. I got one for you right between the eyes, you little shit. This is a property of the Wyos. Now get out of here. Holy shit, that dude's scary. <laughs> Points kind of at you. Okay, dude. This is Wyos territory. State your business. I don't really have any. Then get lost. The boss ain't taking any visitors. Who do y'all think you're talking to? I am the chosen one. I am the guy who walks. I can move. You cannot. Don't talk down to me. What a jump. We made it. Look at that waterfall. It's beautiful. This world is humongous. If found, please call. God dang it. I need to write this down. Six five two nine zero seven. Where's my notepad? Notepad. Six five two nine zero seven four five six five. Dope. We're doing it. Great success. I'm sure, that will come in usefulness probably at some point in our lives. Actually, let's go over here first, and then we'll go back over there. What's over here? It's a house. I can go in. No, I can't. I lied. Who lives over here? What's up? Hello? Where am I? The beginning. Okay. How do I get here? I don't know. Okay. Dave Stavron. Oh, okay. How did I get... I don't know, dude. Okay, you suck. So I tell you, this joint has gone to shit since Dave disappeared. Who's Dave? Dave used to run this joint. He just disappeared one day. Where'd he go? 
Hell, I don't know. You better come back soon before it gets any worse. Huh? Yay, we're in the joint. Uh, where's Dave, dude? What can I get for you? I'd like to get a brown Bolivian for the guy in the corner. We're dude in the corner, if you say so. That'll be one screw. There you go. Anything else? I'm good. Hi, right, man. Just let me know if you need some, want something. Are you the corner man? Yeah, man. Nothing hits the spot like some cold brew at Dave's after a long day. Yeah, so I could probably use a drink right now myself. Make sure to try the herbal infused rum. It hits the spot. Who's Dave, the bartender? No, nah, man. Dave isn't around anymore. He was also the owner of the club soda upstairs, and he ran a pretty successful robe rental business. So he died? No, no one really knows, man. He's a mystery around these parts. Not to brag or anything, but me and Dave were pretty tight. You can keep a, If you can promise to keep a secret, I can tell you more. Oh, uh, sure, I guess. Well, me and Dave used to talk all the time. I'm a regular. One week, he had it pretty... Particularly rough, I guess. He said he was going to take a few days off. Then that's when he disappeared. Before he left, he gave me the keys to his house here in the beginning. Told me to water his plants every day while he was gone. Did you agree to it? Of course, man. Me and Dave were tight. I water his plants every day almost. Uh, most days. Sometimes I forget, not gonna lie. Haha, <laughs> it gets kind of annoying. I was looking for someone to take over duties. I got a good feeling about you when you walked in. So what do you say? I guess I can give it a shot. Right, here's the keys to his house. He lives in a big house right across from here. Make sure to actually do it though, haha. <laughs> Don't want to let my bro down when he comes back. I'm definitely not doing it, but thanks for the key, bro. Dude, I got so clobbered a cup soda last night. I'm ready for some more after I drink this orange sarsaparilla though. Clobbered. Yeah, dude, clobbered. You know, slammed, blasted? You from out of town or something? I guess I am. Okay, get clobbered then. He's the brown Bolivian guy. Greetings, fellow patron. Don't mind me here. I got you, brown Bolivian. Well, I never. The kindness of strangers. Do you know what would go good with this brown yeah. Bolivian? What? Some herbs. I saw the local her uh, shaman with some. I know a man who could use those herbs. A shaman? Yes, the shaman is a hero to the community. Used patrons all admire the shaman. Perhaps you can find him at his home. Where does he live? He, I know he lives near the dock. I'm not sure the ex of the exact building. Who needs these herbs? Not too bright, are we? A mutual acquaintance of ours. I think I understand. Good. No, I don't. I don't understand. I fucking lied. I have no idea. Where the hell are we? What's up, girl? Oh my god, this is like my favorite song now. Okay, cool. Hey man, I'm vibing right now, you feel me? Step aside, don't ruin my vibe. What? And you better not be hitting on my girl over there. I've seen you looking. Don't even think about it, bro. You're not my dad. I don't even know what's going on right now. Where am I? Ja, DJ Delusion in the house. I'm sorry, Fred. I cannot hear you over the pumping bass. Okay, sick. <sighs> okay, let's go to Dave's house. Dave's house was right over here, right? This is Dave's house, I believe. That is not Dave's house. You lied to me! You bastard! Is it over here? Is this Dave's house? Please be Dave's house. Maybe it's the one to the right. I don't know. This is not Dave's house either. Damn it! No other of these houses are Dave's house! This is insanity and bullshit. Oh, it's a big house. That's Dave's house right under there, I'm guessing. Who's over here? Who are you? <coughs> Open wide. There's always time. Uh, what? Don't worry about it. What can I do for you? Where can I find the shaman's house? Giggles. There's no need to beat around the bush. Just get on with it. What are you talking about? 
This is my first radio, son. I've been through this before and I'll be through it again. You heard anything about the previous owner of the bar? Heard nothing. I'm not one for gossip. This dude's kind of drugs. <laughs> God damn it. Sick. Dave's note. Don't bother trying to find me. I've gone somewhere and secluded. I've, I'm somewhere secluding away from this dreadful existence. P.S. Don't forget the plants. Love, Dave. Sorry, Dave. Your plants are probably fucked, my dude. Hate to say it, but don't think there's any water in this house. So, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Did the best I could. I at least looked for the water. You guys saw it. I looked around the whole thing. Ugh, no water. There's a waterfall. But I'm not taking the plants with me unless I have to. Where does this go? I don't know. Ah, nice. Probably another sewer. Yay. We'll buy the boots. Can I afford the boots? Oh, what the hell is this? Fancy manor. Thick. This door's stuck. Uh, use the key. No, it doesn't work here. You thought. Well, I didn't expect this place. Oh, it's a damn clown. Oh, what the world? Is the shaman down here? Ugh. He's licking his lips and grunting. Are you okay? Oh. Stomach grumbles. What's up, man? More champagne, sir? Sure, why not? Wait a second, you're not a guest here. Oh, thank heavens. Maybe you can help me escape this hellhole. What's going on? I was contracted as a butler for this party months ago. Been trapped here ever since with these stuck-up bastards. I miss my family. Please help me get out of here. I'll give you anything you want. Why don't you just walk out? Kind of got stuck in a hairy situation back home. Owed a lot of money to a guy, and I... He told me he'd break my legs if I didn't pay him back. So I agreed to get this gig to get mo the money together. Just didn't realize I'd be here for months. How do you open the door in that hallway? That door's been locked since I got here. Not sure how to open it. Maybe one of these people know. Okay, I'll help you out. Thank you, man. I'll make it up to you, I swear. The guy I owe money to is located in the beginning. He lives in the big house at the edge of the city. Just give him anything he wants. I'll pay you back any way I can. What does he want? It's freaking Willy Wonka! Oh, hello, hello, hello! Welcome to my extravagant gala. Please make yourself at home. Refreshments will be served by the butler. Is this your place? Indeed, and please have you take... Have you taken a look at my fantastic all-original paintings? They are the finest work that, of art that money can buy, of course. Yeah, they're great. Great? They're more than great, good sir. They are all original. Are you here to imply my paintings are not original works? They're be masterpieces, and you should feel lucky to be graced by their beauty. How disrespectful. What? I never said that. The absolute nerve of you. You savage. How dare you disrespect me in my own home. If I had any security, I would have had them escort you out this instance. Leave immediately. Do not ever talk to me again. My dress, yes, is quite magnificent, I know. A beautiful scarlet red to match my eyes. Listen, do you know how to get through that locked door? I don't. To be honest with you, I don't know how long I've even been here. It feels as if I've been here for months. It's all rather foggy. I believe Gerald over there by himself might know, but he hasn't been very receptive to conversation lately. That's Gerald, I'm guessing. Useless. Oh my, look what the cat dragged in. I believe the one is better suited for a last lavish affair. Ha 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 ha. What's that supposed to mean? Bit of a dunce too, aren't we? Listen, I don't care about your stupid body. How do I... Get out. Why would you want to leave this heaven? I have all the exquisite hors d'oeuvres I could ever want. I can call the butler to do any of my bidding. I could chat with the most delightful patrons in the community. To tell you the truth, I can never, cannot even remember my life before coming here. Doesn't it all get old after a while? Of course not. What a foolish question. Do me a favor and remove yourself from my sight. You are starting to smell up the place. So that's the guy I need to bring the shaman stuff to, apparently. 
Oh, I didn't realize there was another brother. Would you be a darling and fetch me more champagne? I've been waiting for three minutes and I'm starting to get a little impatient, dear. Why don't you get it yourself? Me? Fetch my own champagne? Do I look like the help here? <laughs> if you're not here to help fill my cup or talk fine dining, then please move away. You just tell me to get through the door, it's locked. I don't deal with such pointless affairs, darling. Why did, don't you leave me alone and go ask someone else? Yeah, I gotta go find the shaman, I guess. And I gotta talk to the thugs. I got things to do. I have quest. Fight the quest. That party sucked. That party absolutely sucked. This might be my favorite point and click I've played because it keeps my interest throughout and it's pretty simple enough that you can do it and it's fun. It's an actual walk around thing instead of having to click continuously like a 2D point and click. So, oh. All right, let me take this down as well. I'm getting some numbers to call on that stupid phone. Sick. Oh, I have that contact log. I'm not even using it. I'm just writing it down on my notepad. Nice. Good job, me. What an idiot. Let's use the contact log. I wonder what it'll do. <laughs> Write down the number. Yay, we did it. What's over here? This is the end of the Truman Show. It's probably the sewer, I would assume. Oh, whoa. It's a cave. This is a really pretty cave. Is the shaman in here? Shaman Amma Ding Dong. The great Shaman Amma Ding Dong is somewhere in here probably, I would assume. Well, wow, there's a lot of ladders. Can't wait to jump all the way to the bottom of this bad boy. Ah, yes, Tiki Man. Those who wish to proceed must be able to answer one question. Well, that's the question. The question is as follows. When the horn cries out and the mist is expelled upwards into the darkness, what soon follows? A horn? No hints. You may not pass. Okay, you suck. Fuck you, man. Alright, we gotta find something to get past old Tiki Man. Okay. I'm not supposed to be here yet. I'm not even supposed to be here today. So we... Okay, so we give the shaman stuff to the freaking monocle dude. He lets me into the room that cannot be opened at this moment. And then it tells me to go to the tiki man with the clue for the hint of the question that I'm supposed to know. And then I do that. And then I beat the game. Ha duh. Awesome. I've already predicted what will happen, most likely. Maybe. Or not at all. Can't remember where they said the shaman was. We'll just go pay that one due first and then we'll talk to the shaman later. I feel like that's the play. Who are you guys? Oh, it's freaking Neo from the Matrix. Sick. Just in case I need these for the dam. And Chris. Oh, it's. <laughs> you fool! I cannot let to communicate with the Clash G system without a translation token. I can understand you just fine. Is this Clash G stupid or something? Walk away. Yeah, fuck you, dude. Sir! Keep a safe distance away. We've tracked a cybernetic energy field to this location. Cybernetic energy field? If you remain here, your risk will be compromised. Compromised? Trust me, you don't want to know. You know where I can find the shaman's house? Pfft, do you expect me to answer at least cyber warrior to keep up with that squatter? What the shaman interprets as spiritual visions are simply ribbles in the cybersphere. Is there some kind of lone shark in town? Oh, you're useless. Get out. Oh my god, I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. Who's the damn shaman? 
Uh, that one dude will probably tell me when I get him free from the Mafia people. Maybe. Should be over here. wonder what the unmarked key goes to that I have. Might be going to this guy's house. Who knows? What's up, fam? I want to pay off someone's debt. You paying off someone else, someone's debt? Laughs. And whose debt you be paying off? Your grandma's? Or the guy you sent to work at the party? You talking about that little shit that borrowed from the boss? Well, that ain't my business. You'll have to speak to him to pay it off. I'll unlock the door. Don't respect, disrespect the boss or we'll throw you into the water. Gossip. What's that going to do to me? Nothing. Okay, where's the stupid boss at? He's trying to catch these hands? Uh, so you come to me looking for a favor on the day of my daughter's wedding. Why have you come to me? I wanted to pay off someone's debt to you. Kid, you don't look like you can even afford what you're wearing. Whose debt are you paying off? The guy you sent to the party in the sewer. Alright, that guy. What's it been? Six months now? Those freaks never know how to stop with their parties. I'll let him go for three screw ten screws. Here you go. Alright, thanks man. Yeah. You can leave now. Okay, whatever. Screw y'all too. That was my shoe money, god dang it. You hear me, fatty? That was my shoe money. It's a lot of walking back and forth. But who's the shaman? Where's my hint, hints for the shaman? I could have swore somebody gave me a hint to find where the shaman was, but I can't remember what, what the hint was. Okay. Whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Probably. Just go back to that dude and maybe he'll give me another hint where the shaman is or something. He's gotta give me something, right? Whose house is this? Ah, it's a new house. Sick. Who lives here? This is where the shaman should live, I would guess, but he's missing. Useless. Ah, maybe I'll have to come back here after I free that one dude. Something will magically spawn here or something, I don't know. Oh, I'm getting tired. But we're almost done. We're too far. We're in here to win here. I have an unmarked key. I don't know what it goes to. Dude, you're free. You're welcome. Did you find the guy? Please, I can't take being here anymore. I paid your debt. I can't believe it. I'm free from this hellhole. Thank you so much, man. You just saved my life. I'm going to take a few minutes to sneak out of here. Meet me at my house in the beginning. Small house right across from Dave's Tavern. Sick. Sick. B E A U T fool. Did he say across from Dave's Tavern or across from the house? I can't remember anymore. My mind is leaving me. Because I'm tired. <laughs> oh crap. You like a hold on to the damn ladder. Why? Why is this ladder broken? There we go. Is it this house? Or is this Dave's house? This is Dave's house. Yeah. These aren't looking too good. That one dude did not water these plants at all. What an asshole. Well, uh, let me see if that barrel has water in it. I know these are low, long load screens, but I just want to check. So I'm not just as big a dick as that one guy. In case Dave comes back from the dead or something. Nope, no water. Sorry, plants. It wasn't my choice. It was Dave's choice for not having water in the house. A 
I keep going into houses. I'm bound to run into that guy's house eventually for sure. No, it's so many houses. <sighs> nice. What the hell? It's a whole butler family. Sup, dude? You saved me, man. I really appreciate what you did. Uh, wow, your family really resembles you. They do. I'm really proud of them. I couldn't ask for a better family. Uh, don't mention it. Listen, I'm not a wealthy man, as you can see. But as repayment, I want you to have something. This is a fairly heirloom that's been with us for generations. We're not sure what it is, but it's yours right. now. Thanks, I guess. And thank you for saving me. I wish I could give you more, but that's all I have. You're welcome any time in our home. It was a pleasure meeting you. Sick. You saved my daddy. You're a true hero. I cannot thank you for enough for saving my husband. I thought we lost him for sure. Now our son has his father back. Well, that sucks. So maybe I can use a blue orb in the shaman's house or something? Maybe? I don't know. Because I can't get into the shaman's house now. I don't know what this unmarked key's for either. I'm so confused. I need answers, damn it. Why oh, you need answers? seem to work with anything in here, unfortunately. Okay, I was wrong. I don't know what the blue orb does. Useless. Maybe we should examine it. Seems like a good idea. Wow. Well, maybe I can use out that cyber field where freaking Neo is. Yeah, maybe. <sighs> Door is locked. I have key. Oh, it's the right key though. Damn it. Let me use the damn orb on that stupid freaking barren reality or whatever it is that these guys are worshipping. What the hell? The sphere doesn't do anything. Useless. Okay. So, in conclusion, I'm lost. Dave's Tavern, not really where we're wanting to go, I don't believe. Uh, hmm. Okay, I'm missing something here. That goes... Okay, these are all the shops, right? What's below the shops? Should I jump off and see what's below the shops? Will I die if I jump off here? Looks like I will. But, you never know. Until you know. Yeah, not looking too promising, actually. Hmm. Well, here's where we die. Swim! Swim! We cannot make it. Huh. Oh, that blue orb goes in the bottom left for whatever reason, whatever that means. Huh. Okay. I'm so confused on what my next goal is or my purpose. Help me, man. You know where the shaman house is? Sorry, I can't be a purple. You suck. Maybe I can use the blue orb on the... I don't know, dude. Maybe I'm... Uh, I am so confused at <laughs> what I'm supposed to do. Maybe I could take the blue orb to the dang ship. I'm gonna drown again. Nice, dude. I am a genius. Never mind, I made it. Sick. I am a genius. Yay. Hey, man. You want blue orb? 
Now if you don't want blue orb. Could go back and no I can't go back actually, so I don't know what I'm even talking about. I haven't found a sewer that takes me back yet. So that's obviously not an option. I'm missing something so freaking trivial. I don't know what or who it is. I wonder if I could take the blue orb to the Tiki Man. I don't know. It is weird though that's in my bottom left corner because it's the first one I found and apparently there's supposed to be five of those things. Oh fuck, dude. And with my dying breath, the door opens. Switch behind the untitled painting. Sick. Sorry, man. A room with the moose. I'm not even sure what's going on here. Scary stuff. It's this one. We did it. Great success. Wonderful. Yay! A floppy disk! A new place has unlocked! Great! There's even more! But wait, there is more. Where is this? Where am I? Who am I? I don't know. Okay, where are we at? Ah, the sewer. Yet again. I guess we'll just go back to the boat. Like, I don't think there's anything important here left to do. Oh yeah, I was supposed to, f well, why was I supposed to find the shaman is a good question. Why was I supposed to find anybody there? I thought I was supposed to find the shaman to get that guy to tell me the thing, but he just died anyways, magically. So, I don't know, man. Ah, I could go to the freaking Tiki Totem. Well, I eventually I'll probably have to go back to the Tiki Totem. There's a lot of freaking back traveling in this game. I don't know if it's necessary black back traveling or it's just easter eggs to learn more about the world but I guess we'll find out at some point hopefully oh yeah uh, can I get up on here nope and I'm dead but maybe it'll take me back to the no <laughs> but maybe no it will not it will not take you back to the beginning. You will walk your ass over there. No quick teleport for you, son. Yay. I do like that the game is so free to let you jump from place to place. It helps a lot with the backtracking. Take this. Analyzing disc. Ready for departure. Let's go. You there? Uh, da da da. Something bad's about to happen. He's not having a great time. He didn't even ask me to let him navigate. Let me on top. I'm the captain. I'm just getting further and further from my goal of having blue shoes. <sighs> the unknown. From the beginning to the end, probably. That makes sense, actually. Get it? <laughs> so basically, phase three was just talk, telling me to talk to that one dude so I'd know where... I don't know. I have no idea. I have these phone numbers that I could call at that gas station, but I don't really feel like backtracking like that. This is a long boat ride. Where are we going, boat man? This is where we get ate by Cthulhu. Getting darker. That's not good. That's really not good. Where are we going, bud? Where are you taking me? To the edge of the world, where we die. Oh, hell. This is getting scary. 
World's end. I knew we were going to the end. How did I know? Sick. Hey, bud, what are we doing here? You have arrived at world's end. Can you take me out of here? Coordinate this required. Leave. Ah, uh, this doesn't seem to be good for us. Alright, what are we doing here? Well, there's a bunker. That we can go into. Nice. Oh, sick. You have equipped... Oh, 869-325... Oh, let's use the damn thing. I'm not even gonna write it in my notebook, because I have this thing. This watches the whole world. Sick. A syringe. That's good. Syringes are nice. Somebody's been watching me the whole time. What the fuck? What in... Tarnation. Is this situation? I guess I'll go down. But why? Ah! Uh... Oh shit, I'm falling again. Ah! Uh... Am I supposed to try to fall into one of these things? The null zone. <laughs> this is fucking traumatizing. Getting closer, I believe. There we go. This place sucks. <laughs> this place absolutely sucks. I missed it by a little bit. God dang it. Depth perception. It's a real kick in the butt. How close am I? Hey, we did it. Nice. We defeated the Null Zone. Yay. Great success. That takes me to... Oh, man. Wow, this is useless. Why are we here? I don't believe I saw this room, though, when I entered the sewers. All places lead back to the same places in the sewer. I'm gonna call that number. Actually, why would I not do that? But where was the, um, there's too many damn rooms, bro. I can't remember which one goes to which anymore. I think this one goes to the one I'm trying to go to. We'll see, I guess. Yeah, I believe this is the right one. I just head back to the freaking clown dude. God damn it, clown man. It's not where I was trying to go. <laughs> there we go. Watch the contact log not actually work. What did I get the syringe for, by the way? I'm wondering. Hmm. Don't know. Excuse me. This is the only place with the telephone that I've seen. I believe. Nah, I just did a ridiculous amount of backtracking for no reason, but, you know, it happens. What's the numbers? Right. Uh, thank you. Can I use it on this thing? No. Damn it, contact book, you suck. You don't even write down the freaking numbers? Are you kidding me? What are you good? What do you do? Oh, thank God. It just leaves. Okay, gotcha. I was about to say, you suck, contact book. Right. 
So. <laughs> Don't ignore me. Hello? Who is this? Hello? Who is this? Stanley, is that you? Yeah, it's me, Stanley. Stanley, it's been so long. Why aren't you home yet? I have your supper prepared. What's for supper? I made you bone soup. I know you love bone soup. I'll bring it to you. Are you still in room 5631? No. They kicked you out of your cats? For your cats? How could they do that, Stanley? Where are your cats? Where are you, Stanley? Hello? Hello? Who is this? I'm just kidding, I'm not Stanley. Huh? Well, that number sucks, bro. Oh, uh, that's the one I dialed, I guess. Let me try it one more time. Maybe I typed it in wrong. Nope, same old lady. God dang it. All right, let's call these numbers. Nine, three, four, nine. Oh wait, I got it. Nine, three, four, nine. Hopefully I called the right number. It seemed like the nine didn't go through for some reason, but... <laughs> Due to high volume, the suicide hotline is currently unavailable. It's like you want me to kill myself. 46580, Regency Tower. Remember, there is hope. Have a pleasant day. You suck. Alright, there's another number I needed to try. Give me one moment. Six, five, two. Nine, zero, seven. Four, five, six, five. All right, that's the last number and then we'll go back to doing our quest. I found him. Greetings. Do you have any information on the missing person? Uh, no. Please keep this line free for any potential callers. Do not call unless you have... Damn, that was useless. Okay. Well, backtracking... God dang, backtracking in this game is so pointless. <laughs> I don't think one important thing's happened from the backtracking. Like, the only thing that was, like, semi-useful, and it, I don't even think it was required, was, uh... The part with the Bolivian, whatever the... Maybe it wouldn't let me have that option choice if I didn't backtrack there, but I don't know. Damn, dude. So far, backtracking seems to be pretty pointless, so, in my opinion. I guess it's like Easter eggs, maybe. Yeah, alright. Let's go back to the void world and try to jump our way back to freedom. That guy is so creepy, dude. The laughing clown, dude. Ooh. Ow. Okay, which one was the one that took me... I don't believe it was this one. Maybe it was. We'll see. It was one of these two ways. It took me to the place I came from. This other one. Pretty sure. I am pretty sure it was the other one. I don't remember going up or down stairs. The sewer is amazing. Alright, take me back to the void room. And hopefully I can progress. Why does that dude have his grandma's phone number? In the freaking... Oh, who's that guy? I want to talk to them. Do you want to talk to that person?
Right there. That should be perfect. What are you doing in the void room? Don't murder me. Oh, it's a hand dude. What's up, man? He doesn't even want to talk to me. Freak you, hand dude. What are you doing in here? I won't be ignored. Yeah, well, screw you then. This is going to be quite the jump. I ain't going to make it. So whatever, we'll make it soon. Nice. I don't know why we went in there. I guess we found the sewer again, but it wasn't really useful. Are we at the end of this yet? I feel like I haven't found much, like, good information since, like, I don't know, before the tree world. The tree world was kind of lame. I like the graveyard world and the um, other world, but void world kind of sucked, and tree world kind of sucked. Oh, this is the tower they were talking about with the rooms. They have a suicide room. They have a room for Stanley. Okay, gotcha. Get it. I got it. Is this where I live? RegencyTower.com Where home is never too far away. Sick. Plot twist. This is where I came from at the beginning. There's a lot of papers here that I can't touch or interact with. Sick. My favorite kinds of papers. What about the totem man? I gotta put in the floor? I don't want to actually. Oh man, what was the room that that- Oh, is that why I backtracked? Because I was supposed to not- Boy. I'm probably just gonna freaking pause, watch my video, and then take the room and that'll replay. After I get the room number. Because I'm not gonna sit- I'm not gonna go all the way back. That'd be really dumb of me. I'm really glad I took a video of it. Alright, give me a second. I'll be right back. Actually, can I just use whatever room I want? No. Alright. BRB. I gotta close my video so I can use this. Alright, room 5631. 5631. Five, there we go. Going to Stanley's room, god dang it. Well, I guess there was a point to backtracking then, because I definitely went- Where- Oh my god, this thing flies so fast. Yeah, if I didn't backtrack, I wouldn't know where Stanley's room is. This tower is so big. That's what she said. Why can't I go into the room? Oh, that's 5630. We're looking for 5631. There's also the suicide room I could try as well. But I'll have to watch my video a little bit more to figure that out as well. Because I didn't write it down, of course. Man, I can't imagine if you weren't recording and you didn't write that shit down and you had to backtrack all over again. That would have been tragic. This is my room. This is where I live. What the hell? What the hell, Stanley? Damn, his room's like a shitty of my room. I don't know what these numbers are for. You, you can hear me? Yeah. Wow. I know why you're here. Please. Don't. Why am I here? You need my essence. How can I get your essence? To get my essence, you'd have to retrieve it from my internals. You'd have to kill me. But please, just take my brother's essence. He's in the refrigerator. Doesn't that mean I'll have to kill your brother? My brother's already dead. He died in the Great War. Uh, I think I'll just get it from you. Please, don't. If you're going to do it, get it over with. Why are we collecting essences now? Like, what's going on? Now? Oh, hell, I actually did it. I did not mean to do that. Actually, I am a monster. My bad. Sorry, fam. Whoopsie! Did not mean to do that. Oh, I can freeze him to death. Why can't I get both your essences? <laughs> Yay.
Hmm, whatever, I got his essence. What am I doing with it? Why did I get essence for? Okay, I'm really confused. I am so confused. So why do we do this? Was he the shaman? Poor Stanley. I didn't mean it. Well, Grandma, I have bad news. Okay, let's look at the suicide room now. Are you still in room five? Same old lady. Like volume. The suicide hotline is currently unavailable. It's like you want me to kill myself. Who's five eight zero? Poor Stanley. I should have just took it from his brother, but I don't know what I'm doing. Obviously. Yay, a new room with stairs so you can jump out and kill yourself. Sick. Wow, that looks like a high jump. Why would they put this in the suicide place? If interference gate is ever found in the position off, red light on, please notify the maintenance crew. Opposition, red light on. Please notify the maintenance crew immediately. Thank you. Don't worry, it's on now. There's screws over there and I need them. Can I... Am I finally gonna have the money to get my boots? Can you believe it? <laughs> I do have the money, but I feel like I might need these. Eventually. Alright, I'm just gonna jump off. What was the point of the stupid light thing? Uh, that's a long jump, my dude. Screw it. Wow, Luigi. That wasn't the right answer, I don't think. Oh shit. What is happening? Oh, it's Hand Man. What's up, Hand Man? Oh. Fancy seeing you in here. Not a very honorable way to go. You can just sit here and think of for what a while. What? Don't judge me, hand man. Damn you. Well shit. Is that the bad ending or the only end? Oh, we beat it. This took year this took a year to make for some reason. Yeah, I don't think I got all the things in the game, but we did get to an ending at least. Um, I don't know if there are other endings. Because I didn't really have a hint to what to do with the syringe. Like, I got a syringe, but what the hell was I supposed to do with it? I didn't really have a hint. I didn't even know I was supposed to get a syringe, really. Was there anybody that needed a syringe? I don't know. But we got to the end, you guys. Thanks for watching, as always. Hope you enjoyed the playthrough. It was an interesting world, but I don't know. Let me check something real quick. Let's hit the continue button. Alright, guys. So I played a little bit past the suicide ending, and I just wanted to let you guys know. I couldn't find... I did find more stuff, and I'm pretty sure that there's a true ending in this game. Or at least the creator had, like, an attempt to make a true ending in this game. Because you can do a lot of bonus stuff, like, for instance... Um, I went back to the group that's in that tunnel in the boat town, the like little cult people. Um, I gave them the herbs that you can find in the shaman shack, which is on one of the shelves. The shaman confronts you, basically tells you to do the right thing, whatever. You can take the herbs to the like the cult leader guy, and then you can give him um, the syringe filled with that like white liquid stuff you get from killing that heart. And then they stopped talking to you. I didn't get an order for that for some reason. I don't know if I clicked the wrong answer choice or what happened there. Um, and then Jebediah, or um, the guy with the heart or whatever, when you're talking to his old, apparently the lady that you're talking on to the phone with the bone soup, that's his grandma. So you can tell her to deliver the bone soup to that room that she thought he lived in, which is the room with the heart. She'll drop off the bone soup. You can pick it up. You can give it to Jebediah, but if you or to the Stanley, his name's Stanley, and 
Uh, so I gave him the bone soup, and then when I asked him for Jebediah, I don't think I was supposed to do that because he didn't give me an orb either. I think both of those people, if you click the right answer, might have given you an orb, but I've, I'm kind of stuck on where to progress from here. Um, I did get a second orb from um, that unmarked key that actually goes to the room in the ice place where there's like this big heart pulsating room with like meat monsters. Um, I would just show you guys all this stuff, but it's really long and I didn't get to the end anyway So I figured it'd just be a waste of time. We at least did get to one ending But we didn't get to, I really love the design of the game and there's a ton of stuff in it But I just can't continue thinking that I possibly messed up on one of those choices and didn't get an orb for it And wouldn't be able to finish it anyways, but that would only be like four orbs out of five anyways so there's another dude that's on top um, You know where I met the ticky man that asked me the riddle you can jump across that if you have the blue boots and you can talk to a bald dude that basically there's like a room up there that I can't get into I'm figuring there's probably another um, orb in there once you like uh, get the guy to t turn off the flow pipes which is where the bald dude is I don't know how you get him to move maybe with the teddy bear I'm gonna actually try that give me one second I just want to try that real quick I just want to see what it does because if that's it, then there's that might be the fifth orb if those other choices, those other things I did actually were supposed to give you an orb. I just didn't get it because I messed up, I guess. But. Yeah, we'll see. I just want to try the teddy bear because I know I have a teddy bear. And I have a gas thing that I haven't been able to use either. Let's see. That was just supposed to be an outro part of the video, but now that I'm thinking of like another option to choose, I want to do it just to see if I'm right or not. I hate this room. Because <laughs> the more you fall through, the faster you go, which makes it even harder to land on the crap. Oh, I'm getting so motion sick. There we go. Perfect. I think it starts leading you towards the door if you keep falling, but man. <laughs> okay, so the, I'll show you guys where the dam is too, so you can actually see that part, I guess. Um, but yeah, I do enjoy this game a ton because it's got a lot of stuff in it, and it's really interesting for like a 3D point and click where you have to figure out where to use stuff, and the graphics are nice. Um, and I really like how it feels like it controls super well with the speed boost and everything. You're kind of slidey, but it's kind of <laughs> kind of dope that you're kind of slidey because you're moving so fast. It really gives you the feel of like, wow, you're going so fast you can't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. But yeah, I'm thinking I use a teddy bear on the bald dude and he'll let me in there. Because he did seem like he was kind of missing some uh, sentience. Or like intelligence, I guess, not sentience. Let's see. So I think we have to close that off somehow, which I think deals with the ball dude that's up here. I don't know where the gas tank goes to. Maybe I can burn what's-his-face alive. Do I still have the lighter? Maybe I can. That'd be dope. I'd like to do that as well. Or maybe I could set the freaking cultist to alive. So this is the guy that... You like teddy bears, bro? I can't even use it. Well, that gets rid of my thought. But he won't let you in there. I guess. I guess that's the end of our playthrough. I don't know how to open the door. You like gasoline, bro? No. I guess. Thanks for watching as always. Bye!